Hi, I'm Elizabeth Williams Bushy. Follow the Drinking Gourd is the last coded song that remains in its entirety. It was written by a man named Pegleg Joe. He traveled from plantation to plantation teaching slaves this very simple song that sounds like a spiritual but really is very specific directions to travel from the south to the north to freedom. It features North Star, Polaris, which the Big Dipper points to. The Big Dipper, also known as the Drinking Gourd. It gives very specific directions if you listen to it carefully. For instance, one of the lines, the sun goes back and the first quail calls. That means leave at a certain time of the year because it's going to take you a year and you're going to need to get to the Ohio River. And when you get to the Ohio River, it better be frozen because it's going to be rushing by too fast for you to cross unless it's frozen. So Peg Leg Joe pretty much thought of everything. This song is especially dear to my heart because my grandfather was a sharecropper and he was the son of slaves. He was black man, which means that I am descended from both slave owners and slaves. Really interesting when you look at me. So, and I do it in concert a lot. It appeals to people because it appeals to their compassion regarding slavery. It appeals to the secret agent nature in people and people are absolutely stunned when they find out that I am part African American. So I hope you enjoy this song. Most of all, I hope that it helps make Peg Leg Joe one of the prominent black Americans that we all think about during Black History Month, which my personal opinion should be called American History Month. Because we've all heard of Madam C.J. Walker, we've all heard of George Washington Carver, Martin Luther King, Jesse Robinson, but nobody's heard of Peg Leg Joe. And I think that's a shame because NASA estimates he saved half a million lives during the Civil War. And to me, that makes him a true American hero. Even though he's, no pun intended, unsung. Because with this song, he saved a lot of people. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you remember Peg Leg Joe. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom. If you follow the drinking gourd When the sun goes back and the first quail calls Follow the drinking gourd The old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom If you follow the drinking gourd Riverbed makes a mighty good road. Follow the drinking gourd. Dead trees to show you the way. Follow the drinking gourd. And his left foot, peg foot, traveling on. If you follow the drinking. Between two hills, follow the drinking gourd. There's another river on the other side. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking. Old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drink.
stars in the heavens gonna show you the way if you follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. For the old man is waiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking. Please rate and comment. Follow the Drinking Gourd is the last coded song of the Underground Railroad, written by a little-known hero, Peg Leg Joe. NASA estimates Peg Leg Joe may have saved half a million lives. This song, which he spread throughout the South, is a secret map to the North into freedom, using the North Star, the Drinking Gourd, or the Big Dipper, as a guide.